So we have one athlete who will be uh, attempting the uh, record breakers 315 pound dumbbell, but he wants to start with a 300 pound dumbbell and then work his way up to the 315. And that'll be uh, Miko Sabatino. Miko Sabatino. So um, I think he's about ready. Miko is from Bulgaria. And yesterday, I have a very good friend in Austin, Texas, that's from Bulgaria. The wife of Angel Spazov, the late Angel Spazov. And she told me that I did not pronounce Ditmar's name right. She's, she, so she gave me a little instruction. So I have to say Ditmar Sabatino. Ditmar. It's not good, you get, you get that phone call late at night and you say, hey, uh, get it right. Get it together, Mark. And he goes by Miko, right? Yeah. Okay, here he is. All right, let's hear it for him. 300 we pounds. A, we, we had one man injured, so he's going to be attempting it on his own. Judge Old Haugen is in position. to dry it off. Wants to dry it off, we got a towel. You can see the other straw man competitors up here helping him out. They really want to see Miko get this over his head and move on to the big one. Take a little rest. So uh, Miko used to be a strong man in the circus. So this is perfect for him, right Mark? He used I to mean, be a circus strong man. You have a guy that's, he's very well built for this event. Big, huge, what we call a plateau on his shoulders to be able to get the bar, to let the end of the dumbbell rest on his body while the other is supported by his arm. The technique is usually to get it in a position to where you can bend down and push and you do what you see guys do, what they call a bent press where they press as they push and bend their body to get in the position. So we, we look forward to seeing him make this lift. And the reason we call this the sear dumbbell is uh, back in the 1800s, well, it was 1892, the famous Louis Sear lifted a 273 pound dumbbell overhead. And that was in the 1800s. And here we are doing about 25 pounds more over 125 years later. So that's something else. Well, this is in uh, his honor, Louis Sear from Quebec. I believe he pulled out the big one. He just wants to go after it. He's like, he's going straight to the record. He just wants to hit it. I, 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 I want y'all to realize that all of the men over here, these are the strong men that competed yesterday. And if you didn't notice just now, the guy that was wiping the dumbbell down, the guy that was chalking it up, that was Jerry Pritchard, one of his competitors. And he's out here honoring this guy and so he can see if he can make this world record. And that's so commendable because I doubt if you'll see J.J. White go out and sweep the floor for somebody else. We're trying to Let's hear it for Jerry Pritchard. Jerry. Okay, our two judges, Terry Young, Old Haugen, are the, set. The great Terry Young. We have a lot of fun. As, as, as much as this is such a serious thing, being the records, all of these guys, we all love the hell out of each other. We, we spend a lot of time with each other every year, and on the stage and off the stage. So 
There's a lot of fun poking going on. A little bit of laughing, too. All right, it's time. Guys, let's get a little support, get him ready. He's over here firing himself up. The straps are coming on. And this is for a record breaker $5,000 prize. I'd like to have one of those dumbbells in my house. Come on, Miko. All right, guys, here we go. Last instructions from Old Howden. Y'all excuse me for a minute, I gotta become a fan. That is as close as you can get. It is He's got two minutes. You got a towel? Towel, towel, shirt. He's got a minute and a half. It takes a lot of energy. He's trying to recoup and get his breath right. All you power lifters out there know internal pressure. Come on, let's go, Miko. Wow. Let's give it up. Great job. Meat Coast, 17 off.